Hello. In this video, we will see how we can uh, run a particular migration file in Laravel PHP framework. Okay. So right now we are having a PHP Laravel application on my cPanel server and here is the database of this particular application and sometime we need to uh, run a particular database migration file uh, so it will properly reflect to the database so in our case just uh, let me show you what is the migration file i am going to run so in my case i am going to run this particular uh, create audit table migration file run okay so to run this file what i need to do we need to we need to run a particular command uh, with the flag so basically if we need to run the proper all the migrations then we need to run the php artisan migrate refresh command but in case we are running uh, only one migration file we can just specify the path with the path uh, property we can just pass path and pass the particular path of the file that we wish to migrate so our, in our case uh, we need to migrate this particular file so i just copy the file name of the of the migration file and go to this particular command and put the path here i actually put the name file name and the path already there so basically the migration is in the database folder in the migration folder and is the file name so this is the uh, this is the complete command we need to run in order to execute the single migration so i just copy this so first let me show you there is no audit stable that is go we are going to create using the running the migration there is no audit stable so what i do what i will go to the terminal of my uh, cpanel and let me just clear the screen okay so right now if i check i am on the root directory of my laravel application okay so on the root and location of the laravel application i just put the required command that we construct to run the particular database migration file and hit enter so as you can see uh, using this particular command only uh, the particular migration file is uh, run okay so just go to the database and we can see there is the new table that is audits appear here so as you can clearly see we run only the required migration and all the other tables in the database is still intact so this is how we do this so if you are having any question just let me know in the comment section i will be happy to help you out Thank you.